Welcome to TestFly RC. In this video, I'm going to unbox the UMX Ultrix. This is an ultra micro airplane. It has two brushless motors and it's extremely durable. It has EPP construction that makes it tough. So it's tougher than EPO foam. Let's open up the box. Ooh. Wow. Look at this. So, right here at the top, there's this, this manual for the airplane. And I have to get my knife. Where did I put my knife? Need the knife. In my toolbox or a tool container. So, right here is the manual. You want to make sure you read the manual so you know how to program the remote controller. So. Right here's the manual, and right here are the little vertical stabilizers. So that's nice to have those. If you didn't have the vertical stabilizers, then it wouldn't fly that well, probably. <laughs> right here is the airplane. Ooh, look how nice and small this is. Wow, nice. And this airplane has two screw drive linear servos and two little tiny brushless motors. This is really nice. And this airplane can do Harrier. Uh, Harriers work like a high alpha, where it can fly around something like that. And it can fly 3D, if you know how to do 3D. And it has differential thrust, so you can do flat spins and stuff like that. So, I think there's a hatch on this airplane. Let me see, where is it? Oh yeah, there's a bottom hatch here. So, oh yeah, it's a magnetic bottom hatch. And it has a nice little flight controller receiver thing here. And it has a JST plug. And this airplane takes a 500 milliamp one cell with a JST plug and I already charged this battery up. One thing that's nice about this airplane is it has a nice small box so you can just easily put it on the front seat of a vehicle or on the back seat. The wingspan from here to here is 13.5 inches and the height is 12.9 inches and this it has a DSMX receiver, so you're going to need to have a um, Spectrum transmitter or any other remote controller that can run DSMX protocol. So in this little bag here, there's the vertical stabilizers. And I'm going to take them out of this little bag. And it has some extra props here. So that's nice. So if I happen to break those props, then I can have some extra props to replace them with. And here's this little metal uh, wire thing. I guess it could be a little skid, so you might be able to put it in the front. Okay, so here are the vertical stabilizers. So they might just go in, or you might have to glue them in, I don't know. They might just go on like that. Oh, you might have to glue them in. Let me look in the manual and see if you have to glue them in or not. Let's see here. You always read the manual when you get an uh, airplane so you know how to set it up. And even you want to read the, know, know, know how to program it too if you choose to program it manually without downloading them all set up from Spectrum RC website. Under the install the vertical stabilizers, uh, big letters, it says press the vertical stabilizers into position. So it doesn't say anything you have to glue them in. So I guess that's what you gotta do, just press them in and. Yeah. And yeah, this is a really nice little airplane. Really nice and small. And it has two little nice brushless motors has covers for the servos and I did get 
uh, Spectrum 800 milliamp one cell that I was just charging there. And I was wanting to try this one out. It's only a little bit bigger than the 500 milliamp one cell. So I was thinking that this one might work with this airplane. So I got it to try it out and see if it will work. Let me see if it fits. Yeah, it fits in there. So it should be able to work. This one's not rec recommended for this uh, aircraft. The 500 milliamp one is though. But I was, wanting, I was wanting to try it out and see if this one works. So it might work. I'll try it out uh, later on when I fly it. So I programmed my DX8 using this manual to know how to program the DX8 for this UMX Ultrix. So I'm going to bind it to it. Okay, so I plug in the battery. Okay, the lid is flashing rapidly. Now I'm going to turn on the transmitter over here and bind it to the thing. It bound to it. Got bound. And I want to go see if it has any telemetry. Auto configure. Well, see, it might have telemetry for how much voltage this battery has. Oh, yeah, it does. It actually has. I didn't know this about this airplane. That's nice. It actually tells how much voltage the battery has. It's 4.2 volts. That's really nice. I set up the telemetry through the telemetry menu. I press the button auto config for auto configure and configure the telemetry and I was able and this thing actually sends telemetry to this to my radio. What about the back here? has enough power to go vertical and enough power to hover. That's really nice. And it even has a little bit of lights without even adding the light strips. The uh, Without even buying the light kit and putting the light strips along the edge of the wing. So, it's really nice. And this thing has optional safe too, just in case you want to have safe. Or if you get into trouble and you want to get your orientation back. So, and if you flip the switch, you can get into safe and it'll self-level it. So this airplane is a really nice airplane. I got this airplane for $100 because it was on sale. But it's probably normally more than $100. So this is my unboxing of the E-Flight UMX Ultrix. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I'm going to do a video of me flying this later on, so stay tuned for that later on, and bye-bye.